You can be sure you'll you run into trouble, and you can never be sure you'll get out of it. There's not much you can do about it, I guess. Except, like Julie always says, walk softly, Pinky Trill. And now, Peter Troy investigates the Karate Kid. supposed to have said that she thought William Shakespeare was a wonderful writer because he always managed to work so many well-known quotations into his plays. In my book, not even a dear old lady could be that dumb. But the fact is, if you like to poke your nose into a volume of the Bard Scribblings, you'll surely find enough cute quotes to win yourself a prize any day as a cocktail party bore. But in his world, it all will. And at the risk of boring you now, I'm going to trot out the one that goes, Louise the Tessa smell far worse than we. Which is to say, if you don't mind my milking this little, a three beautiful dame who turns out to be an ass murderer is more of a shocker than some creep who looks like a killer and turns out to be one, in fact. Which brings me to the case of a very special and lovely girl by the name of Geraldine Craig. A case that also closely concerns her young brother, called Joey. Yeah, that's the way we go to nine up, shall we? Which is simple as stealing apples. The car be parked right here in Chester Street, and all we've got to do is punch it. Get it over to the garage and over to the rich. Harry, I told you... No, there's nothing to it. It's the easiest one we've had yet. And there's 50 quid in it for it. The boss says you get the same money as I always get. I'm not going to do it. Well, what are you talking about? I told you when I came in here. I'll finish with all that, Harry. I'm not stealing any more cars. Since when? Since the last time. It's no good. It's not my cup of tea, that's all. What's got into you, Joey boy? I was waking up to myself, that's what. I'm getting a decent job and going straight. I'm not going to spend the rest of my life running away from cops. Yeah. What have you done with your brains, Joey? Scrambled them for breakfast? I know what I'm doing. I'll finish with that gang and all that car stealing. Well, you've been good to me, Harry. You know, I don't like walking out on you, but... Well, it's a case of us being at the... Parting it away, like the saying goes. Parting it away? My, don't you talk fancy now. Where'd you get that stuff from? That old song singer that runs that kids' club you've been going to? Well, yes, I expect I did pick it up from Mr. Benton. But he's a good sort, is Mr. Benton. Oh, we have a good time at the club, too. Well, you ought to come along sometime, Harry. Come along. So that jump and play thing around you with a little old frontal boy? <laughs> Not me. You don't catch me hobnobbing with a bunch All of... All right, Harry. You don't have to go on and on about it. All right, uh, I'd better be pushing along. Here. Wait a minute. You can't just walk out to me like that. I'm sorry, Harry. Sorry? Never mind about being sorry. I've got a lot of time showing you the tricks. How to do things right. And you're not going to walk out to me just because... Harry, I'm going. There's no use arguing about it. No use arguing? We'll see about that. Now, what does that mean? You just watch your step, Harry. Don't you go threatening me or you might find you're bitten off more than you can chew. You get in my way, Harry. And you might just end up with a broken nose. Two juvenile delinquents hurling threats at each other in a fun parlor in Soho. What does that have to do with a beautiful doll called Geraldine Craig? Well, nothing, at least not right now. What does a beautiful doll like Geraldine Craig have to do with me? Too much for Julie's mind. Julie is a wonderful secretary. And very tolerant for a woman. But one thing of which he does not like to see too much is attractive dames. The subject which has been the cause more than once of a slight difference of opinion between us. So when Geraldine, with her 36, 24, 36 frame, poured into a 34, 22, 34 dress, glided into the office, Julie was delighted to be able to tell her the truth. I'm sorry, Mr. Troy is busy. Oh, I'm sure he can spare just a minute. Well, perhaps he could. Uh, some other time, Miss... Um... Uh, Craig Geraldine Craig. Uh, if you care to make an appointment, Miss Craig... Is this his office over here? Well, you can't go in there. Uh, Miss Craig, you have no right... Mr. Troy, Mr. Peter Troy. Uh, yeah. That's right. Your uh, uh, secretary is that you're busy. And so he is. What? Cutting out paper dolls? Uh, well, I always cut out paper dolls when I'm thinking over a case. Yes. He finds paper dolls less troublesome than live ones. 
But you wouldn't know about that. Oh, but I would. I understand perfectly. I'm sure Mr. Troy and I have a lot in common. Oh, do we, Miss... Uh, I didn't catch the name. I didn't throw it. Touche. You must go to a, a lot of movies. All that slick private eye talk. The name is Craig. Geraldine Craig. Oh, do I come into your office, or do you usually conduct your interviews at the door? Oh, pardon me. Do come in, Miss Craig. Take a seat. Thank you. I will. Um, I'd like to see you privately, if you don't mind, Mr. Troy. Mr. Troy likes me to stay for all interviews with clients, Miss Craig. He likes me to take a note of everything that's said. Oh, and I shall do that. Every word. It's so I can read it all back to Mr. Troy after you've gone and uh, discuss it with him. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, very good idea, Miss Summers. Very good. And now, where were we? Uh, discussing dolls, wasn't it? Hmm? Paper dolls. Oh, that, yeah. yeah. Well, it might save us a lot of time if we uh, turn to discussing what you wanted to see me about, Miss Craig. It's about my brother, Joey. Your brother, Joey. Well, he's mm -hmm. rather young, you know, and I'm worried about him. Since our parents died, I've had to try and do everything to him. Mother, father. Father? Oh, I know a woman can't be a father to a boy. A boy needs a man. And that's why I've come to you to see if you would talk to him. Yeah, well, Miss Craig, I hardly think this is my line of work. Please, Mr. Troy, it has to be someone like you. A private detective is not like an ordinary man. He's not? Oh, no. You'd be a kind of hero to do. You'd be able to look up to you. Just as I can. Look up to you just as I can. Now, uh, what's that? Oh, just taking this, Mr. Troy. Oh, now, well, see here, Miss Craig. I'd like to help you, but... You must help me, Mr. Troy. If you don't, I'm afraid... I I'm afraid someone may get hurt. How's that again? Well, it's if you thought Joey's taken up at some club he's joined. It's called karate, a sort of judo. Yeah, I know. Only rougher. Karate, huh? And you figure he's likely to use his karate skill in a fight with some other kid? Mr. Troy, I'm not only afraid he'll use it. I'm afraid he might kill someone. Because she wears her great, big, beautiful false eyelashes, I think. Yeah, where's the bell? Now, yeah. you were saying, honey, eyelashes? Well, no. I would say it was more... Yes? You know, it was really her big, great, big, beautiful... Yes. So. Oh. Uh, yes? Joey Craig? Yes, Roy. My name's Troy, Peter Troy. I'm a private investigator. This is my secretary, Miss Julie Summers. Oh, well, how, how'd you do? How'd you do? You wanted to see me? No, you don't mind. It won't take long. Well, I can't. Well, come in. Are you working with the police? I'm not working with anyone at the moment. I came to see you because your sister's worried about you. My sister? That's right, your sister, Geraldine. Are you kidding? She hates the start of me. She does. Ever since I broke with a gang and stopped pinching cars and things like that, she's been threatening me. You. Ever since I broke with a gang. Yes. I told her that when a gang started stealing cars for money, I wasn't going to be in it no more. Well, Joy Riding's one thing. Someone's but... paying your gang to steal cars? They're not my gang. Not anymore. Yeah, but if you want to know who's paying them, you ought to talk to Harry. Harry Morton. Who's he? Well, he used to be my pal. He runs the gang. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll get around to Harry. What about this idea that you're studying karate? 
Oh, you know about that. We well, asked me to practice down at the club in Chester Street. Well, Mr. Benton, he runs the club. He got this Mr. Ishimoto. He's a Japanese. He got him to come down and teach the kids judo. Judo isn't karate, Joey. Judo may be fine for self-defense, but karate. That's for killers. Well, well no, it ain't. Well, that's what some people think, but it ain't. Well, that's how some of us senior kids got interested in it. Mr. Ishimoto was telling us about it, and... Uh... Are you expecting visitors? Well, no. No, I'm not. But well, I'd better see you at this. Jerry Craig. Well, yes, that's what? Inspector Caswell, are you trailing me or something? Troy, what are you doing here? Oh, hello, Miss Summers. Inspector? Now, why does everybody always say, what are you doing here, as if I have no right to be here? Anyway, I might just as well ask you the same question. My business is with this young man. Well, what do you want with me? Just let me see your hands, will you? My, my hands? Yes. Yeah. You are developing quite a nice callus along the side of each palm, aren't you? Been practicing karate, I hear. Well, yes, that's right. I, I've been practicing for weeks now, and you could beat a man's head in with those hands, couldn't now, you? Now, hold it, Inspector. You know a boy named Harry Morton, Craig? Yes. Yes, I, I know Harry. Why? Because he's dead, that's why. What? He was found dead of head wounds in an alley at the back of the fun parlor where you were seen arguing with him last night, Craig. Less than an hour after that argument, he was dead. <laughs> Well, seems Joey Craig is in a spot. And although I couldn't figure out how I was ever going to get my fee out of this case, I couldn't leave him in it without trying to do something. Now, from where I stood, the kid, the karate kid, as I called him, was innocent of the murder of his former pal, Harry Morton. The police didn't charge him right off, but took him in for questioning. And it was hard to blame Inspector Caswell for feeling that he had the killer right there. I was worried about the sister angle, I was trying to make up my mind whether I should go have a little chat with Geraldine Craig when Julie made up my mind for me. There's something about that woman I don't like. Only something? The way I had it. You didn't like one teeny little thing she said or did? Or the way she looked? I'm trying to keep my personal feelings out of it. But you should... You just said you didn't like her. That isn't personal? Uh, what I mean is, there's something crooked-seeming about her. Crooked-seeming? Now, that's a new one. I must add it to my vocabulary. Oh, what do you know about Geraldine Craig? Oh, only what you know. Well, then how can you... I still say she's a crook. Well, look at the way she pretended she wanted to help Joey, saying she was afraid he might kill someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. slow down a minute. Now, that is something. Why did you tell me that? Almost as if she wanted to make it tougher on him when the murder was discovered. I mean, if I told Caswell that she warned me about Joey... The inspector could find it all the more believable that Joey was the killer. yeah. The kid said she really hates him. Oh, there you are. I told you. She's crooked. Yeah, I'd like more than that, Julie. I'd like to know a lot more about Miss Geraldine Craig. Mm, looking at me? Looking at you very hard, honey. You're it. Go dig the dirt about Geraldine and make it fast. Excuse me. Are you Mr. Ishimoto? Oh, what is correct, sir? How can I assist you? My name's Troy, Peter Troy. Yeah, my card. I have invested with a... Yeah. Oh, sir. You wish to stick with me? Now, please. It'll only take a few minutes. It's about Joey Craig. Oh, sir. Well, please to come into my office where we can be private. Yeah, thanks. I understand... Troy Craig has been arrested for murder. It is a sad thing. Well, he hasn't been arrested yet, Mr. Ishimoto, but he will be unless we can do something to help. Oh, most great for help in all ways. Troy is a good boy, good student of karate. You well, know, you teach a man karate, Mr. Ishimoto, and you hand him a very dangerous weapon. Oh, pardon, disagreement, Mr. Troy. You teach a man karate, and you teach him the way of restraint. That is what karate is. A uh, way of life. A man knows karate, and he is so dangerous, he does not need to fight. And karate teaches that a man should never fight if he can avoid it. The art was developed by the Buddhist monks, you know. In this business of developing a callus along the side of the hand. Oh, yes. We practice many hours to harden the hand. So hard does it become that it can smash through a piece of wood two inches thick. 
Or crush a man's head. Oh, not at all. But karate does not teach you to do that. It teaches you that only evil men will do such a thing. Yeah, you really can do that trick with a two-inch board, I mean? Oh, yes. Uh, look, uh, demonstration, please. Ah, uh, here is that board. Yeah, it's hardwood. Yeah, not the two-inch stick. Yeah, that looks pretty solid. Oh, it is. A precious saw. One end on the edge of this table... The other end on the window edge. Uh, stand back, please. Right. Now. Oh! Wow. Smashed in two, clean in the middle. As you say, Mr. Foy, with the bare hand. Yeah. <laughs> uh, tell me, uh, could young Joey do that? Well, not so much yet. He's still a student. But he could hit a man hard enough to kill him. He could, Mr. Toy, but he would not do that. Joey Craig is not a killer. I have taught him karate, and the teachers of this art know who is a killer and who is not. Joey did not kill that young man. <laughs> To it, Julie. Hmm. Now, how did you make out with our dear Geraldine? Well, she might be your dear Geraldine. She's certainly not mine. And you need to be careful. She happens to be Buzz Hillman's girlfriend. What? Hillman the racketeer? No one else but. Hey, Julie, we're a doll, a living doll. I am not. I know how you feel about what you call dolls. And if you. Oh, come on now. You know that was a compliment. So the Craig Dane is going around with Buzz Hillman, huh? Hey, Hillman, wasn't he, wasn't he up not long ago in a car stealing rap? Oh, yes, I believe he was. Yes, that's right. Car stealing. The kid said he refused to go along with Harry Morton's proposal that he steal cars for someone. Hillman? Who else? Yeah, but how do we pin it on him in a hurry? Oh, why are you worrying about getting Hillman for car stealing at a time like this? Not that, the murder, I mean. You mean Hillman? I don't know. There are details we don't know. But figure it this way. Hillman has this Harry Morton organizing the kids to steal cars. Joey walks out. Hillman tells Harry to keep the gang together or else. Harry can't stop Joey getting out, so Hillman has Harry beaten to death. But pinning the killing on Joey? How... Geraldine's idea. Oh, no. His own sister? Yeah, nice girl. She hates Joey, who's always criticizing her for going around with hoods. Well, let's pay her and her boyfriend a visit. What is it? Peter Troy, Mr. Hillman, private investigator. This is my secretary, Miss Summers. Uh, no. Now, Mr. Hillman, <laughs> isn't nice to shut the door in people's faces? If you don't take your foot out of the door, you cheap amateur cop. What did you do? Are you good at karate, too? Uh, shut up. What do you want, Troy? Uh, just a little conversation. Julie and I are lonely, so we'd like to join the celebration you and Geraldine are having. Come in. I'm much obliged. After you, Julie. Oh, you mean I don't have to put my foot in the door, too? Now, what's all this about? Geraldine knows, don't you, Geraldine? Uh, I haven't the faintest idea. Oh, but... yes, you have. Subject, your brother. Joey. Problem? How to frame him for a murder he didn't commit. Well, he must. That karate, I told... I talked to his teacher. Joey's only a student. And a pretty poor one at that. His hands are as soft as a baby's. Couldn't possibly have hit Harry Morton that hard. Jerry, you told me Don't that. Don't you see he's trying to get it? To what, Geraldine? Confess to Harry's murder? You're asking for trouble, Troy. Then give it to me. Now, you won't give me any trouble. Because if you did, you'd have to go all the way. You'd have to murder me, too. Will you fix me the way you had Harry fix Buzz? Buzz? Now, shut up. But he knows. He knows nothing. Now, shut up. I know, all right. I'm not the only one. Just... Oh, what the? Now, that'll be the guy I'm expecting. Someone you know. Let him in, Julie. It'll be a pleasure. Joe. That's right, Joey. Little brother you love so much that you'd cheerfully frame him for murder. Is it true, Geraldine? Do you arrange for me to be blamed for Harry's death? Of course not. 
had no idea you even knew him. Oh, that's funny. A week ago, we had a big argument because I told you I was going to break with Addie. I... Anywhere but your own throat, you stupid little fool. You didn't know when you were well off. I warned you you wouldn't be allowed to run out of... Are you idiots? Will you keep the top shot? I think we've heard enough anyway. How about you, Inspector? Plenty for the moment. Oh, no. Please. Exactly, Elman. I'll have to ask you and Miss Craig to come down. Stay where you are. I'm not going anywhere. Now, put that gun away, you fool. That won't do you any good. Get me out of here. Now, out of my way. On you two, kids. Get out of the way. You think you're a big man with that gun in your hands, aren't you, Elman? Well, I'm not different. <laughs> Grab him, you oh. man. Get that gun. Yeah. Nice work, son. Oh, oh my heart. What? It is, too. That shows what karate can do. Not only break a man's arm, but also convince you that Joey is no killer, Inspector. No, how's that? That blow could just as easily have cracked Hillman's skull. But Joey deliberately aimed for his arm instead. Yes, I see what you mean. All right, men, take him out. Let me go. Take your hat. You don't have Well, congratulations, Joey. Well, thanks, Mr. Troy. Hey, karate really came through for you. You know, I might take it up. Could be useful when I want to beat up my secretary. Oh, yes? I might just learn to rattle myself. Mm-hmm. And then you really would have to walk softly, Peter Troy. 